Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Eternals, starring Gemma Chan, Richard Madden, Camille Nanjiani, Leah McHugh, Brian Tyree Henry, Lauren Ridloff, Barry Kehogan, Don Lee, Kit Harrington, Selma Hayek, and Angelina Jolie, directed by Chloe Zhao. Now, the same director that won Best Picture last year for Nomadland is doing a Marvel movie. Maybe they were um, handing her this before Nomadland ever came out, before she ever won the Oscar. Who knows? But I have seen the movie three times. Twice in theaters, once in Disney Plus with my mother to see the IMAX experience. So is it going to be a better movie by the third viewing? Let's take a look. We open with the crawl of what the Eternals, Deviants, and Celestials, which prepares you for this movie, as I didn't really care until the movie was progressing, and we start with the Eternals, who are the good guys, led by Ajax, whom I thought was named Ajax when I first saw this movie, played by, and played by Selma Hayek, and we're introduced to the Eternals, Cersei, played by Gemma Chan, Icarus, played by Richard Madden, Athena, played by Angelina Jolie, Kingo, played by Kumail Ninjiani, Sprite, played by Leah McHugh, Fastos, played by Brian Tyree Henry, Makari, played by Lauren Ridloff, Druid, played by Barry Kohigian, I don't know if I said that right, please forgive me, and Gilgamesh, played by Don Lee in the 1500s, saving Earth and destroying the Deviants, which are the bad guys. As they're led to believe they killed them, they killed them all. Until present day, Cersei is a school teacher, with Dane Whitman played by Kit Harrington. As there was an earthquake being led by the Deviants, as they arrive on present, starting with the dog. And I thought, oh no, don't kill the doggy. As we move on to Dane's birthday party, while we he asks Cersei to move in with him, as she says no. Because she's not ready. And how long have they gone out for? As that bothered me while Sprite gets, says, get a room. And they go on the way home and spot a deviant as the plot is making no sense. And honestly, I don't like the characters one bit. As this is the first for the Avengers series, in my opinion. Icarus comes in to save Cersei, Sprite, and Dane's life lives as Icarus is supposed to be the strongest as he's like Superman, particularly when he has his laser laser eyes like Superman, Sprite can who can morph into different people like the kind of like Mystique from X-Men but not in her, on her own with powers and Cersei is the one character I don't I don't get I don't get the character arc as she explains to Dane why they weren't in any of the Avengers movies, as they didn't want to be in intervening, but I don't get her powers, as she doesn't have a character, and I don't know why she's the main character of the movie, which bothered the hell out of me. We get to the sands, and we see the Eternals fighting the Deviants, in another flashback, and after him, Ajax talks with something that I swear to God thought was Galactus. Well, she was supposed to be the strongest of the leaders, as she dies later in the movie, spoiler alert. Maybe not really, but who knows. But I'm getting ahead of myself as we learn a little about the characters. Athena is Xena mixed with the Hulk, as she attacks people out of control like anger the same way as the Hulk does. Kingo shoots lasers out of his hands. Fastos is the game mechanic like Q and 007, and I don't like the main, and I don't mind the character being gay as people criticize this movie as for that, as I thought, give me a break. Makari, who's dead, is like the Flash mix with Quicksilver from both X-Men and Avengers Age of Ultron. Druig is a mind reader slash magician, and Gilgamesh has some muscles on with the Hulk mixed with Thor, as they're getting everyone back together, and we get all these flashbacks that are completely unnecessary, as this movie is two and a half hours long, and it's way too long of a movie. We go back to present day in South Dakota and see Ajax is dead, 
And on my first viewing, I thought, oh, come on. She's not, she has more scenes in the trailer than what we, I've seen this far. And I'm thinking, she's not dead yet. Come on. But when we get to one of the flashback scenes, we see her getting killed, which I'll get to how a little later. And this is not making sense, as this scene is a pretend is pretentious. We get to another flashback scene, and this movie has so many it drove me crazy. As Athena attacking people with a power that looks like one of Doctor Strange's powers, as her head is full of anger, like the Hulk, as she fights with the other Eternals in a forest, and when they heal her, she comes back to normal, not remembering what happened as Ajax tries to erase Athena's memory, while Druig goes off on his own and they split up for decades, and Gilgamesh protects Athena from attacking everyone, while everyone else goes their own separate ways, as I didn't care for this scene at all. We move on to Kingo filming a movie, as he's an actor in in film in Bollywood, let's say, with an assistant named Karun, who's a very laughable character, in my opinion. Even in serious scenes, he comes off as comedic. The character did annoy the hell out of me with the camera, and Kingo bugged the daylights out of me as they both got on my nerves. And it's not because of the race of these two actors. Their characters are way too over the top. They go to Gilgamesh and Thena in a desert, and as for director Chloe Zhao, No Man Land was a beautifully shot movie, but she doesn't compare with No Man Land, as this is poorly made in my opinion, and I'm bored at this point, and I'm thinking, where's the action in this movie? As this movie is absolutely boring. But what I did appreciate was they bring up a couple of times of, Things that happened previously, like Doctor Strange existing, and they bring up who will lead the Avengers since Captain America and Iron Man are both dead now, and I did appreciate that, while Cersei talks up with the head of the Eternals, whom I, for the life of me, can't remember the name of, but he says it's time for the Eternals to come back to Earth, as Earth needs to die, for what reason? I don't know, and honestly, I don't really care, because this movie is, at this point, is boring, as I'm bored as hell, and I'm thinking, this movie sucks, as this is the first of, as this is the first of the Avengers movies, I'm just not liking it as much as the previous ones, and it, is it as good as, or better than Thor The Dark World? I'll tell you guys later, but so far, I'm, I think it's pretty damn obvious, but if not, I'll get there when I get there to the rating. The Eternals talk about how the world is ending in the next scene. You know, they're at the Amazon looking for Druig as he rules the people in the town, and they talk about how they need him, but he's at, like an ignorant ass as the actor playing him. I know he was in the on the boat in Dunkirk, but here, he bugged me. He bugged the hell out of me here in this movie. Kingo brings up Peter Pan as Sprite as Icarus. Sprite to Sprite as Icarus is Peter, Cersei is Wendy, and Sprite is Tinkerbell. As she's in love with Icarus, which was a bit of a surprise late, until later in the film, where it looks so obvious and telegraphed. We get another action in this with the deviants in this Amazon, which was about time as Icarus is taken by a flight deviant. And the action scene, I'm going to be honest here, it gave me a bit of a headache both times I watched the movie. But at the end of it, Gil Gilgamesh is killed by one of the deviants while Fina watches in, which I didn't really care f at all, to be quite blunt, while one of the deviants talks, which shocked the hell out of me when I first saw the movie, but I was bored out of my mind, which is never a good thing for a Marvel movie. That gave... That give a bury they give a burial to Gilgamesh while Thena puts his ashes in the water as we move on to 1945 at some place in a war with Fastos making the land explode with the like the atomic bomb and which what was the point of that scene as it could be in the editing floor as this movie is all over the place Icarus and Cersei goes to Fastos to get him back to the Eternals which he's 
while he's married in a gay way, let's say, with a little boy. And his husband tells him to go save the world while Fastos is reluctant to go with them as he doesn't want to say goodbye to his husband and son. But the song playing in the background was driving me crazy as well. They arrive to their ship as they enter Athena scares Festos by stepping on a potato chips, a bag of potato chips, which was corny in a stupid way. Athena picks up the Excalibur, which was, I believe, the sword from King Arthur, but the, they talk about a way to stop the Deviants, and Icarus says who's Ajax picked up to be leader while Sprite complains about why they're just sitting there instead of fighting to begin with as Icarus goes outside as he thinks about what he did this six days ago in South Dakota, which was going to to Ajax to take to talk to take her to a place in Alaska, and as they see some deviants, Icarus puts his Ajax to the ice to get killed by the deviants, which I guess explains a hell of a lot. I just wish this wasn't the case, but unfortunately it is, and as this point. I'm, now I'm pissed off because nobody knew Icarus was responsible for Ajax's death. And it was nowhere near as good as what happened to Peter Quill's mother being explained by Ego in Ga Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And as Icarus feels regret, I'm just not buying it by the actor Richard Madden. As I've seen this guy in the live-action Cinderella, Rocketman, and I've reviewed him before in 1917. And he was good in those, but here... He's not a very good bad guy at the end of the day. As the group reunites once again and they go to their own rooms, and Cersei catches Icarus being the bad guy, where while he wishes Ajax didn't pick Cersei as leader, as he reveals himself as the bad guy and lied to them this whole movie. And as he leaves the Eternals, he takes Sprite with him because she's in love with Icarus and Kingo, decides to leave because there's no war to go to, and Cersei doesn't know what to do as Athena tells her to fight Icarus, and Sprite as Fastos wants to make the same speech, and Athena, as well as Athena, but he tells her something different as the plan with while Fastos get, get a piece of, gets a piece of power out of Cersei, Briefly, and he creates uniforms for everybody else as they prepare to fight Icarus and Sprite. And I don't like what happens at this 30 minutes section. Dina fights Icarus with Cersei. Druig and Makari go to the volcano to stop the Deviants from coming to this world while Icarus runs from the fight to get to the other three while Icarus beats up on Druig. And Thena and Fastos get to the battle on the beach as these effects look horrible, I'm still having a headache at this point. The Eternals remaining, which is Cersei, Thena, Fastos, and Makari, fight Icarus off while a Deviant comes in to fight with Icarus, and Thena goes after it, and here's Gilgamesh from one of the Deviants and almost kills Thena until she cuts the Deviant's head off and says she remembers who she is, while Cersei sees Ajax disguised as Sprite while Sprite stabs Cersei in the back because she felt pity and hated living with humans as Druig hits her in the back. And do I like the way the final battle is going? Not really, as this movie is already bad enough as it is. The volcano almost erupts and Cersei turns it into ice and Icarus escapes the trap by Fastos and goes to Cersei as she's already saved the world as he remembers their relationship, and the score in that scene is absolutely horrible. As the Eternals get their uniforms lit up, as the world is saved by... as Icarus goes back to a different world while Sprite is still going to Earth, and I just don't care, and I'm just going to spoil it at this point. As far as the Avengers series is concerned, this is the weakest of the movies. Not everything... That's in humans, but as far as the movies goes, this is the weakest of the series by far, and it felt like the pets. We get back two weeks later as Sprite becomes a human, and we go back to South Dakota with Thena and Druig and Makari, 
go on the ship to space while Fastos stays on Earth and we get back to London. Seeing Spray is going to school and Kingo goes back to Bollywood and Dane appears to talk with Cersei and he has a secret with his family and Cersei gets, as she gets captured to space and this is, and is this the way to get the credits rolling? I'm thinking not. During the credits though, Athena, Druig, and Makari meet the Eternal Eros, played by Harry Styles, and his assistant Pip the Troll, played by Patton Oswald, which was an odd choice to put him in the scene during the credits. But after the credits, this is going to be an interesting one. It is Dane opening a box containing the Ebony Blade as the weapon wielded by the Black Knight superhero, he attempts to touch it, but the vampire hunter, Blade, remember that character, but played by Wesley Snaps, but really not this time. This time he's played by Mahershala Ali, and I like that ending stinger better than the first one, but the climax was very headache worthy in my opinion. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 3.7 out of 10. This is the first in the Avengers series I just did not like as far as the movies are concerned. This is by far the weakest of the movies, but not the weakest of the universe, which belongs to Inhumans. But as far as the movies goes, this is the weakest as is the pits. I don't like the characters, nor do I get their arcs, as we follow someone who has the least interesting arc in this whole movie, as this plot bored me out of my mind. This is a very long movie with way too many flashbacks as they should be cut out of the movie. And it's a shame Chloe Zhao chose to do this after winning the Oscar before COVID ever hit. Before, But this is embarrassing for her resume. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Chloe, but this movie is embarrassing. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. And next time I will be back with Spider-Man No Way Home. And until then... Avengers Assemble!